What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is the L&J Shave Crave. This is Shoei J back at it again. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a mix-up shave. I felt like just kind of mixing all my stuff together and trying to get a, a different scent. Maybe like layering each smell, you know what I'm saying? So today we're gonna be using, hang on one second, my bad. <sighs> we're gonna be using Red Tail by Victory Shaving. Did you guys see that? See, there we go, perfect. Yes, Victory shavingcompany.com I'm not sure if they're still in business they might be but I don't know if they're selling soaps anymore but here we go and the smiles for miles shave soap scooper which if you guys haven't picked one up you guys gotta talk to them they'll hook it up it's really cool so we're gonna put that into the favorite now Captain's Choice Shave Bowl and I'll tell you something about the consistency about this particular soap it's uh, actually quite uh, thick or I don't want to say thick, dense, let's say dense. It's like, it's like a putty, see? It's like a nice putty. So we're gonna be using that today. And then we're gonna be back to using the Badger's and Gotti Shave Brush, which is something I really need to use often so that the bristles start to get softer and uh, more, uh, I say, worked in. And we're gonna be using a brand new shave brush mug because it legit is a mug. <laughs> if you guys are familiar with uh, the company a and W. This is their mini mug. So sick, and it fits this like legit perfectly. Just gotta squeeze that and then send it down. Just like that. And it does suck, suck in the water like quickly. So there it is. I'll show you guys. If you guys want one, let me know and I'll point you in the right direction or I can get it for you. Just whatever you guys want. But there it is. It's a legit original A and W. Uh, restaurant. That's where we got it. So, let's go ahead and apply that free shave. What the face? What the? <laughs> what the face a little more? Okay. And yes, I'm fresh out the shower because I feel like I do shaves faster this way. So, Crosso Blue, you guys know all about it. Gotta buy it. There it is. Let's go for it. And I decided to keep the. The goatee, it's actually coming in fairly thick and that's very uncommon on my facial hair because it doesn't do that, but I guess things are changing and I'm enjoying it right now. Uh, the itch is still there as you guys can tell, but I'm going to be using some beard products for that, so hopefully that does work out. But I am keeping it for now because it is coming in kind of kind of thick as you guys can see. There it is. Okay, okay. And I did not say which razor I'm using yet because I don't have it on hand right now. So give me a sec and I'll be right back. The Mule R41 GS. Super heavy, super awesome, super aggressive. There it is, ladies and gents. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that blade in right now. Actually, I think it already has a blade. Huh, that was close. I almost touched it. <laughs> It's got a feather. We're gonna go feather. I was gonna go Astro, but there's a feather in it. I think it's a second use feather and I'm gonna go for it. That's crazy. <laughs> Have to. So let's put that over there. Now let's get to lathering. Pulling it out, as you guys can see, it did take a lot of water. Okay. Now let's get to that shape one. Let's see. Now this, this soap does lather amazing i'm just surprised as to why the company decided to stop making soaps um kind of sucks because they're actually really good and their scents are awesome but i don't know i guess that's supply and demand i would say um you know we don't know exactly but let me show you guys the lather quality on this i'm splaying the the badger brush a little inside to uh Show you guys the quality, the thickness. Look at that. And the sheen on that. Does need some more hydration as this type of soap is like that. But once you get that proper mixture between water and soap, it's awesome. Hope you guys can see that on camera. It happens really quick, by the way. Just the, the whole 
so glad they're in on this. Look at that. Boom. Let's go for it. First pass. The new R41GS and a feather blade that I haven't used in a while because I've been using Astra lately. Just painting it on there. Okay, I'm kind of glad it's a little thin on the beginning. So I can get a better look at how that uh, blade performs. Let's go for it. Let me temper the blade real quick. Well, I can feel the aggression. Yes, yeah, Weasel. That's my son right here in the background. I had to be real quiet on that shave because I've already butchered my face one too many times with the R41 and a feather mixed together. So I had to be real careful not to mess this up. And I think I did all right. Check it out. I don't see no nicks. Mm, nope, that's not, oh, that's a little one. All right, I'll be right back and we'll do the second pass. As you guys can see, I added a second layer of protection because this is the feather with the R41 and it's the GS. So here we go. Let's apply some more with the Badger Zingati brush. Nice and, oh, that is good. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Wow. Whoa. That's what I'm talking about. Let's paint it on there. Nice. My hands are completely dry, as you guys can see. This is intense. Talk about a tried and true razor and blade combo. Fuck, that thing is sharp. I mean, I didn't hurt myself, I just cut a, cut a pimple. She'll go get the first aid and take care of this business, but I think we're done. That does conclude the shave because I don't even want to go again. I just got a BBS and a big old pimple shave. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, I felt that too. But it wasn't bad, bad. <laughs> so, the razor and blade combo that I used is a feather, second use or third, with a Mule R41 GS, okay? And that thing is pretty killer, so you guys need to be careful with this one. That's for real. So, let me wash up my face, and then I'll be right back. Okay, that was a gusher, and if you guys can see, it's right there. It's a big old pimple. So let me just put some water on the PAA Allen block, and we're going we're gonna to do the whole face. I can already tell it, it's a little stingy, and that's just with water. So I'm going to seal everything in all the pores right now. Okay, activated. Let's go. Oh, shh. Woo, babe. Oh, boy. That feather blade got so close, it's crazy. Woo. Oh, that'll make you honest. Woo. Okay. There it is. Woo. We're not even done yet. So the aftershave we're gonna do the gatherer to calm down the face a little forget you gotta shake these up a little bit if you guys haven't checked out Heather's website Zingati man boy you guys better head over there 
She's got some really, really awesome stuff. And I love this scent, and I love layering with this too, because I've already done it. Ah, oh, just, it's fantastic. I got a baby butt smooth shave, I ain't even playing with y'all, like seriously. Boy, that, that was intense. Let's put a little more. Go on the neck. Cheeks. Right there, that's not smells good. Cool. Now, to layer that, the gatherers by Zingati Man, I'm gonna layer it with two things. Droid Black and Fahrenheit Bay Dior. This is PA, by the way. So first we're gonna do the Droid Black to layer it up. Some of you guys might think I'm crazy, but honestly, layering the scents, I don't know, just gives everything a gnarlier smell, bro. Ooh, oh boy. Oh, wow. Okay. I felt that one. Okay, that's just a little bit on that one. Seal that up. Let's pop open this one. For Fahrenheit. Okay. A little bit on that one. Same thing. Oh yeah, all the smells in one. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the LJ Shave Kevin. You guys know what it is. Come back again, take another look. I'm gonna have many, many more new products coming up. It's not even over. This is just the beginning, and this journey is gonna continue. And it's become such an addiction. It's kind of crazy, but I'm controlling myself, right? But this is my hobby, and I love doing it on video, and it's freaking awesome, right? And just to recap everything, we did use the Red Tail by Victory Shaving Company. There it is. If you guys want to check them out, I'm pretty sure their website might still be running. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Okay. Um, we used Captain's Choice Shavel, which is the comparable, my official favorite, and the Zingati Badger Brush. Boy, this thing is awesome. And we used the Terror of All Razors, the Mule R41 GS with the feather in it. I believe that's a third use. Okay, and that like I told you, it sliced me good, but it was just a pimple, as you guys can tell. It's a fat pimple, too. Ooh. And then uh, for the pre-shave, you guys know, Parasso Blues King, right here, bam. And then we use three different aftershaves. I should say one is Recovery Splash and the other two are aftershaves. So Zangati Man, The Gatherer, there it is. We use Fendrihan, I mean Fendrihan, <laughs> Fahrenheit by Dior. That's the website I'm shopping on. Next, okay. And Droid Black by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. There it is, ladies and gents. Oh, before I forget, always use your Allen block, right? By PA. If not, grab another one. There it is. Okay. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Come and watch again. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. You hear me? This has been Shui J. And don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments. I'm terrible at responding, but I'm trying my best to do so. Um, and uh, if you guys have any questions, you guys know where to hit me up on. Down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.